Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cardenas. Uh, Cheryl Eichley is our next speaker. After that is James Shaw. Good morning. Thank you. I'm happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as just another demonstration of freedom in the history of our city. Forty-seven years ago, a great American who, in whose symbolic shadows we stand today gave a timely speech on freedom and equality. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of minorities who had been seared in the flames of the withering injustice. That speech came as a joyous daybreak to to renewed, the renewed beginning towards yet still a more perfect union. But since 1996, there are still Americans who are not free. Thirteen years later, the lives of medical cannabis patients and providers are sadly crippled by the manacles of the government's war on cannabis and the chains of injustice. Thirteen years later, the medical cannabis patient lives on a lonely island of intimidation in the midst of vast ocean of so-called freedoms. Thirteen years later, the medical cannabis patient still languishes in all corners of our government and finds himself exiled in his own city. And so we've come here today to dramatize a contemporary and still shameful injustice in a sense we've come to call upon our government to cash a check. When the art architects of our republic wrote a magnificent, the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence on hemp paper, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all humans, yes, medical cannabis patients as well as healthy people, would be would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious that today our government has defaulted on this promissory note insofar as her citizens of cannabis are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, Los Angeles has given... Thank you. Thank you very much, Cheryl. You can always finish your sentence, don't worry. <laughs> uh, James Shaw is our last...